Hello everyone, Jero Skoskamp here from Team Infinity. Today in this video I want to talk about the Infinity IF15 II and the differences between the normal suspension and the hard suspension. Um, and I want to show you a little bit uh, about the difference in sizes and what to do on the car with it. As you can see here, I'm building my car for the World Championship in Thailand and I decided already to use the hard suspension arm. And I got some questions from some customer and they say, hey, uh, Yilis, uh, my, especially the rear is binding a little bit. Uh, what's going on? So I did some checks and, and I did some investigation and I found out that the, uh, the plastic um, from the normal suspension and the hard suspension, um, the, the size is a little bit different because of the molding, you know, the process of the molding between the different material, it can happen that the size is slightly different. So, for example, I have uh, the normal arm here, and if I measure, I come at uh, 36 millimeter, and the hard suspension arm is 36.1, 36.2. So that means if you put it on the car, and you use the standard one millimeter shim, the rear suspension will bind. It will. It's just simply too tight. So there are two things what you can do, and. Um, yeah, come and have a look how I uh, fix this problem. So we start with the rear, uh, closer look to the car and uh, also the suspension. Uh, what I said, it's, uh, it's a minor difference, but uh, there is a difference. As you can see, this is uh, 36.117 and the normal suspension is 35.97. So that's actually 0.2 of a millimeter. So if you build it up with the one millimeter shim, um, it's simply that uh, the rear is binding. So you can do two things. You can either put a smaller shim there, uh, but then you have to combine some shims together. You can do that with the uh, three times five millimeter shims. Uh, you can add up a lot of shims. Um, I don't know if this is easy because they are very thin. You can also take a 0.5 and then a 0.3 for example. Um, but there's another way and I think that's maybe even more more better because then you can still easily change the wheelbase if you need. You take a sandpaper and you simply sand on both sides the arm a little bit and of course you try to do it as flat as possible. So you make this distance pretty much the same as the with the normal suspension arm. So 36.0 will do. Of course, when you build a rear suspension, uh, you always have to make it that it fits good because of the inserts on the aluminium block. Sometimes it's still uh, not completely in. And if you do this, then you see that uh, you get play. And of course, the suspension, suspension has to move freely like this. Now, coming to the front, uh, the front is um, a little bit easier. Uh, because um, I will show you the size of the front and the front was already 50.8 and basically the distance on the uh, sorry about that the distance on the point from there to there is about 51 so I don't know if you remember but if you normally build the regular suspension there was always play and therefore you always needed to use a, f a few shims but now with the hard suspension i don't know if you can see but this is the hard the h the size is actually spot on it's 50.98 so when i mounted the hard suspension i didn't have to use the shims anymore but actually they came on immediately with a fraction of play and it's moving freely so I think uh, for sure the front arm is, a, is an advantage to use the hard arm because you don't need any shims anymore. So yeah, that was my explanation about the uh, normal suspension plastic and the hard uh, plastic suspension arms. I uh, hope this was helpful for you and uh, see you next time.